Hello and welcome to my channel, The Curious Coder. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most important concepts in Java multithreading, the synchronized keyword. Synchronized is something that is used to achieve thread safety in a multithreaded environment. Now, what do I mean by a multithreaded environment? It simply means you can process multiple things in parallel instead of doing them one by one. For example, two for loops can run at the same time instead of executing sequentially. Okay, but in such an environment, there is a big problem. Multiple threads might try to update the same resource at the same time. And when that happens, the value does not get updated properly because all threads are accessing it together. This situation is called not being thread safe. And this is exactly where synchronized comes in. It helps us make our code thread safe by ensuring that only one thread can access a critical section at a time. Now multithreading is a concept that is sometimes not easy to visualize. So I have covered a very simple yet very important example to demonstrate how multithreading can cause issues and how synchronized completely fixes it. Okay. So let's jump into IntelliJ and look at the example. So I'll try to explain with a very simple example. I have created a class counter in which there is a field count whose initial value is zero. And I've created a method increment where we are just incrementing count by one. All right. In the main class, I have created an object of counter and I've created two for loops, which are running 10,000 times. Okay. From zero to nine, 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 nine. All right. And here I'm calling the increment method. Okay. So whenever this increment gets called, this count method, this count variable will increase by one. All right. Then in the end, I'm printing the final count, which is counter dot count. All right. Now if I run it, cool. So as expected, the final count is 20,000 because in the first loop, it ran 10,000 times. So this method was called 10,000 times and the value of count increased to 10,000. And in the second loop also, again, it ran 10,000 times. So eventually the value became 20,000. Okay. Now here I was running these two for loops one by one. Let's say I try to run these loops in a parallel way. Okay. I run these two loops parallelly using multiple threads. So then what will happen? Okay. So let's try it out. How can I declare a thread? It's very simple. We just use this thread class. Okay. We create an object of thread and here I'll have to give the implementation. All right. So if you guys don't know what the syntax is, don't worry. We are not going too deep into this concept. I'm just writing out the threads in the most basic way that we can. And you just need to understand what's kind of happening here. Okay. Don't, if you don't know the exact syntax, don't worry. I'm just trying to declare some threads and I'll only just start these threads. Okay, so you'll understand what is happening. All right, so similarly there, I'll also create a thread T2 like this. And here I will add this for loop. Okay. All right. Then what I need to do, I need to do T1 dot start. Similarly, T2 dot start. And then there are two more statements that I will write t1.join and t2.join all right and in the end i'm printing the final count okay so i'll explain this code line by line what we are trying to do is first we have created a counter object here i have declared a thread t1 okay i have not started the thread i have only declared a thread t1 and what this t1 will do whenever it will run it will execute this for loop. Okay. Similarly here I have declared another thread T2 and whenever this T2 will run, it will execute this for loop. All right. Now these are the lines where actually T1 starts and T2 starts. Okay. So this is where T1 will run and this is where T2 will run. Then I've written two more statements T1 dot join and T2 dot join. So what does this mean that here we will have to wait for these threads to complete their job. All right. At this point, we will have to wait 
until then the code will not move further all right Co code will not reach here until both these threads have completed their jobs basically until both these for loops have finished finished their iterations all right so actually what happens is you might think that there are two threads in the play right now but it's not there are three threads t1 and t2 that you declared but there is a main thread as well all right a main thread which always runs so when we were we, we didn't create these threads then also main thread was running and main thread runs line by line okay it will start from line number 10 and it will run till line number 30 all right so how it will happen in this case is first the main thread came here it saw that we created an object then it moves along it sees that we declared a thread then it moves further ahead it again sees that we have created another thread as of now these four loops have not started okay now at this point at line number 24 the main thread sees that t1 dot start has been called all right so at this point another thread comes into play which is which is t1 and this execution will start okay and the main thread will keep on moving and it will reach to line number 25 at this point this execution will start okay so the thing is that when main thread comes from 24 to 25 it happens very fast all right so you can just assume that these t1 and t2 almost started at the same time all right and now they are running parallelly now these four loops are running parallelly okay then after that the main thread still didn't stop it keeps on moving it reached line number 27 this is where the main thread stops okay why because here explicitly we have called this method t1.join and this is what join does it stops the main thread so it is explicitly saying the main thread that until the job of t1 is not done you will have to wait here all right so until this for loop does not complete its processing the main thread waits here then after that it whenever this for this thread completes its job the main thread will move to line number 28 then it will wait for t2 to complete its job now since they both almost started at the same time so both of them will almost complete their job also at the same time all right so after this it will have to wait here only for a very short amount of time because both were running parallelly and t2 will also complete its job as soon as t1 does okay almost a little after all right then after that after both of them have done their job here main thread comes and it will print the statement final count and the count should be printed all right this is how it works now ideally the output should again be 20000 right because what is happening is both the threads are update are calling this increment method and this time actually they are calling it parallelly so in the first case the loop was running one by one so first the first for loop will take it to 10000 and the second for loop will take it to 10001 to 20000 all right but in this case both are running parallelly so they will do this process very fast okay they, they are running parallelly so again they will take it to 20000 very quickly right they should so let me just run it and see the output all right so you will see that the final count is not 20000 it is actually very less than that okay it is something 12548 so why why is that so actually that is the main logic behind multi-threading there are some things which are not thread safe and there is a concept of thread safety that we have to achieve okay so what happened was and actually that thread safety will achieve using the synchronized keyword all right that i'll show later in the video but first let me tell you how this problem arrived okay why why this problem was there so what happened was at some point while the while these for loops were processing it it might be possible that let's say the value of count was 100 okay both these were incrementing it and the value became 100 now both the thread t1 and t2 try to access the same counter exactly at the same time okay and both of them had the value 100 because they both try to update it at the same time so the first thread t1 made it from 100 to 101 and the second thread t2 also made it from 100 to 101 
बट आइडियली दे शुड नॉट हैव डन दैट ओके वन थ्रेड शुड हैव मेड इट फ्रॉम हंड्रेड टू वन ओ वन एंड द अदर थ्रेड शुड हैव मेड इट फ्रॉम वन ओ वन टू वन ओ टू ऑल राइट देन ओनली इट विल रीच ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इफ एवरी आइट्रेशन टेक्स प्लेस फॉर एवरी थ्रेड राइट बट दैट्स नॉट वट्स हैपनिंग बिकॉज इन इन केस ऑफ पैरल प्रोसेसिंग वी गेट दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट इट माइट बी पॉसिबल दैट बोथ द थ्रेड्स ट्राई टू इंक्रीमेंट द शेयर्ड रिसोर्स एट एग्जैक्टली द सेम पॉइंट ओके एंड दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी नीड टू सॉल्व सो दैट कैन बी सॉल्व यूजिंग समथिंग कॉल्ड सिंक्रोनाइज ओके सो वट वी डू इज इन दिस इंक्रीमेंट मेथड आई विल हैव टू एड जस्ट वन की वर्ड सिंक्रोनाइज लाइक दिस ऑल राइट एंड वट इट्स जॉब इज दैट वेन एवर टू थ्रेड्स ट्राई टू एक्सेस द सेम शेयर्ड रिसोर्स एट एक्जैक्टली द सेम टाइम दे जस्ट स्टॉप वन ऑफ द थ्रेड ओके दे दे आस्क वन ऑफ द थ्रेड टू वेट एंड ओनली वन थ्रेड डज इट्स जॉब एट एक्जैक्टली एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम ऑल राइट सो लेट्स से एट सम टाइम टी वन बोथ दीज थ्रेड्स ट्राई टू एक्सेस दिस काउंटर सो ओनली वन ऑफ दम कैन एक्सेस एट वन टाइम ओके सो दैट इज हाउ दे दे हेल्प इन अचीविंग that all the iterations take place and in all the iterations we perform every increment all right and now you will see that if i run my code the final count is 20000 okay because the synchronized took a lock on this method okay it took a lock on this method and when t1 and t2 were trying to reach this method only one of the thread can enter and it will just increment from let's say 100 to 101 as soon as it's incremented to 101 then only the the other thread will be able to increment it further okay and then obviously since now the value is 101 so it will have to increment it to 102 okay so it won't happen that both these threads tried to attack the same shared resource both these threads found the value as 100 and both of them updated from 100 to 101 that would have been wrong in this case one one of the thread will come first it will update from 100 to 101 and the other one will update from 101 to 102 and that is how all the increment will take place okay so this is why we use synchronized keyword it helps us achieve this synchronous behavior in case of multi threading and it makes our code thread safe okay this is what thread safety is all right so i hope you understood the concept and you liked the video for more such content for more such java core interview questions please follow my channel the curious coder i have added a playlist where i am adding all the java core interview questions okay